Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin'. It's D. About to react to this vid by Moore. It's titled, He's Going to Prison for a While. So he's referencing Neon and looking at the description, it says that he was arrested in Dubai. I'm sure he was doing something dumb. People are always like, oh, I don't want to go to this country or that country. Oh, they're too strict. I might go to jail. You'll go to jail if you go out there and act an ass. All you have to do is be a decent human being and you'll be fine. <laughs> like this pretty much goes for anywhere. I went to Dubai. I had a great time. I would definitely go back. But I was I was being normal and the people I was with were being normal as well. You can do a, a whole bunch of shit there, especially in the touristy areas. It is not sh as strict as people think. Like people are walking around in bikinis. Like they got prostitutes running around. You could buy a prostitute. You could do all type of shit. Let's be clear. But if you're acting an ass and bringing unnecessary attention to yourself, then yeah, you, you might get locked up. If you going out there going off on people like that one black chick that got locked up, th then yeah, you, you, you might go to jail. But... Otherwise, you, you'll be, you'll be fine <laughs> if if you just aren't a dummy. It's it's as simple as that. But let's see what what he did. I guarantee it's something stupid. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So breaking news: the famous former YouTuber, now kick streamer, known as Neon, has also been highly associated bad. with Aiden Ross. I believe Aiden Ross is the one who got him the deal with Kick and signed him on his behalf. Has recently had a trip to Dubai, and we know Dubai is bougie, it's high class, it's for rich people, millionaires, people who got money, like a lot of these kick streamers do. But you know, a lot of these kick streamers who are also from America. It's not for millionaires. A normal person go to Dubai. More just be saying anything, also. <laughs> Cause what? America or from the West don't like to follow the laws of specific countries that they travel to for tourism, like a Johnny Somali who was beat up and bullied by the locals of Japan, or a nice Poseidon who got arrested for a week or so for getting a lap dance or providing a lap dance to somebody else. Like you gotta understand in these countries, especially Islamic countries, mostly populated by Muslims, of which Neon, I believe, is Muslim himself or comes from a Muslim Arabic Islamic family. You should understand that if you violate their laws, they're not gonna give a fuck about you. They're they're going to clamp the hammer on you with that ass and send your ass to jail instantly. Like, this is not America where you're going to be coddled and American privileged and, oh my God, they're only 20 years old. Like, no. In these countries, by the time you're 16, they expect you to act like a fully fledged citizen of that country who understands the laws, respects the culture and the society. But in this case, clearly Neon did not, as according to this tweet, he has now been sentenced to one year in prison in Dubai. They say Neon was last seen with his OnlyFans girlfriend, Sam Frank right before being arrested yet him and his crew are locked up and she's actively posting in his ex-community did she make neon take the blame and in his community she said i cannot speak on anything but when i can you guys will be the first to know and here's a clip highlighting some of what happened with sam frank and the law enforcement over there in dubai so i understand that um it's not official right we're going to jail we're going to jail where are we going? To the office, they said. Well, well we went to guest services. That's where. Okay, guest services is where we got permission, ma'am. I want to let you know. So anyone who could clear this up is going to be in guest services as well. And they said you would send it to the WhatsApp group. You got sent to one year this quick. Okay. Put it down, put it down, bro, put it down. What are you doing, bro? Now, as of right now, there doesn't seem to be any official reason released to the public yet as to why Neon was arrested and maybe going to jail for at least a year in Dubai. But according to some very popular Twitter news pages online, they're saying Neon has been arrested in Dubai for the past three days for illegally filming. And what exactly he was filming, I, I have no idea. Some was illegal. He filming other women in Dubai, as I believe that is illegal. You cannot film another person, especially if she's a woman covered up and the wife of another man like i believe that is illegal was he filming of content with his girl sam frank or was he just doing dumb shit like johnny somali was doing in japan and he got arrested over that who knows we all know these kick streamers are out here starving for attention and they will do anything and i mean anything even if their life is literally in jeopardy over some views it's just like bro the lack of self-preservation in 
this new generation of content creators is just like astounding. And sorry, by the way, if I still sound funny, I'm still congested, I'm highly sick right now, trying to fight this cold, but I am still filming content. According to another page, though, they say Neon was arrested, right? And he's going to be charged for an entire year because he, and I quote, didn't have the proper permits to film. Now, so pretty familiar true. with that as I am a content creator and, you know, even places like New York City or major cities in America, if you are a content creator and you do want to film outside in the public, you do technically need a filming license or filming permit to do so, especially if you're like a commercial business, a company making money off of... And especially if you're surrounded by hella people. If you're one person and you just got your vlog camera and you mind your business and you're not bothering anybody, nobody's gonna give a fuck or bother you. But if you with a whole fucking squad, it's hella y'all, y'all got multiple cameras, fucking mics and shit, you're bringing a lot of attention, some of them be having lights on them, then yeah, they might be like, wait, what is this? What are you doing? You're filming outside. Like for regular people who just don't do this as a job, it's not professional, you're just outside filming, having fun, like they don't care about you. They care about the people making money off of this because they want to get their taxes by any means possible. I'm sorry. That's how governments work. They want their money and they will tax you in any way they can. But here's what Aiden Ross, basically Neon's boss, had to say about the entire situation. I'm gonna just say this though. I'm doing everything that I can do to try to help, but people around him made it really hard because there's clips like, I'm not gonna say specifically who, but you guys can put two and two together. Someone around him knocked him pretty bad to where it, mm. it's like they fucked it up. I'm not gonna lie. Based off what they said. Oh, and you harassed people? I'm gonna stop talking about it, but. Oh, it's, you're done. You're done, yeah. It's and in the comments, you know, people are saying and alluding to the possibility of Neon with his OnlyFans girlfriend trying Good to film Ramadan. content over there in Dubai, which is highly illegal. They say respectfully, Neon exploited Ramadan and OnlyFans is illegal in Dubai. Some people are saying deserve. Some people are saying he shouldn't be arrested for doing his job, which is streaming and being a general nuisance to society. He didn't even harass anyone while doing it in How Dubai. How the fuck you know, Jack? You wasn't there. Oh, oh, so now Dubai has to fix his laws to cater to people like Neon. Okay. Because nowadays everyone walks around with cameras and films places. Which, in my Jake opinion, is not true. Like, believe it or not, although we all have cameras, doesn't mean everybody's using them. And here's another clip of Aiden Ross providing more context, claiming how serious and real this actually is. How do I say this, bro? Because I don't want to get in the way. Because I see people, my, my crew, talking about it. And um, it's not a script, bro. It's real life. It's, it's just hard right now. And people gotta stop talking about it. So yeah, man, I... <sighs> the fact that Aiden Ross is so unwilling to actually talk about this situation seems very low energy about it. In the case that this may be a very serious situation, as you know, live streamers like to always exaggerate things for views when it is scripted. But when it's not scripted, I mean, damn, yeah, especially for an undiagnosed adhd -er like Aiden Ross, this is kind of scary. Now, here's the caveat about this entire situation. It is entirely possible this entire thing may be fake, may be scripted, and may be fraudulent. As you know, dickheads like she served okay. the guy I made it. Okay, I'm exiting out the video because he starts showing a clip of what looks like a girl was giving somebody head. I ain't got time to play. <laughs> More be playing games with some of the clips he be putting in his bits. Um, but yes, I definitely, you know, am usually skeptical as well, but this seems kind of legit and especially seeing Aiden's reaction if he was you know playing into it for views too and in with with neon he would have gave more details but he seems real hush hush about it um so it seems like it might you know be true that he over there stuck in Dubai and they, they trying to throw him in jail for a while and it is what it is that's what you get when you do dumb shit simple as that what's the update with the nigga who got kidnapped in Haiti is he still over there because I feel like if that was fake, he would have popped up at some point by now. You know, like, oh, I'm safe, guys. And no, I, I ain't heard shit. So, yeah, I don't know. I might have to look into that. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this, though. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.